viewpoint or nonlinear regression. And the data is given and it's now gonna be fitted with a fit line. So here you do not have a best fit line, right? This is a curved. It could be exponential as a best fit. It could be a polynomial. So it depends on what it is, we need to do different things. So I'm gonna give you an example here. So we have a following years and a corresponding population. X is year, the years and the Y is population. Uh, so if you, do, if you just do the scatter plot of that, we see this model like that. It, it could be possible that it is exponential, like what? If this is exponential, the possible exponential is going to be 10 to the power of ax plus b. Okay. This could be my model like exponential. What I can do, I can put the log in front of both sides. Uh, according to log law, I can bring the power in front. So log of y is equal to ax plus b log 10. I know the log 10 is one by log y is equal to ax plus b. Now this is my new y, y new. If you, if you take a log of your previous data, your model will be as a linear. See, take a, take a log of 50, 60, 70 numbers. And now your new data, the log 50 is 1.7 and log of the other numbers you just listed here. This is your new one. And if you, graph this, you will see this is will be like a linear. I proved that actually here. Now you know how to find if you have a data that is x so you know how to find a line of the best fit. Just to remind you how do we do it? So in a previous lesson, if you go to the previous lesson 3.2, we got an equation. I want to show you. This is the equation. You have ax plus b. The a is a slope. This is the equation. And the b, you, you know how to find it out. I'm expecting you, student, find that a and b using these equations. Now, if you do it, you do it and make the A and, and B for this one, the A will be 0 0.013 and B gonna be negative 23.65. So it's AX plus B, right? This is the Y values. Then I, I need, I can't put it back because I said the model is Y is equal to 10 AX plus B. Now I got my AX and plus B, right? So it's going to be 10 to the power of 0.013x minus 23.65. True. That would, that would be my model. Even if your data, you're guessing this is going to, to be a parabola, what can you do? You can say the y is equal to ax plus b power two. What you do, you just take a square root of both sides, ax plus b means what do, you, what do you need to do with your data? The y value, you do a square root of that. Then you just list that, find the best fit line and just put it back here. And that would be the equation of this fit line. Or if it could be a, this model, AX plus B, 
Yeah, you know what to do. It's just I mean, the one over the y is equal to ax plus b. You transform your y value as one over y, and then you get your new data, find the best fit line, and then you just write back your equation of the best fit. So this is the, the way that we can find the equation of the best fit line with these methods. Um, now I'm gonna share back to the textbook. Okay, so do the practice for 3.3. 3 I'm asking you here this question, create this question number three. Create a scalable determinant correlation coefficient. Uh, use a power regression to calculate the coefficient of determination. Uh, what model you think is more accurate? Uh, so find a model for this question. Yeah, that's the question number three. That is on page 192. 